वेलकम टू बी लर्न बी लर्न में आपका स्वागत है सब्जेक्ट फाइनेंशियल डेरिवेटिव सेशन नंबर एट टॉपिक कवर्ड इन दिस सेशन टाइप्स ऑफ ऑप्शन ट्रेडिंग स्ट्रेटेजीज इन्वॉल्विंग ऑप्शन फॉरवर्ड रेट एग्रीमेंट स्वैप्स एंड एट्स टाइप्स एंड नाउ टाइप्स ऑफ ऑप्शन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एक्सरसाइज ऑप्शन American option can be exercised at any time between the date of purchase and the expiration date. Mostly American options are exercised at the time of maturity, but when the underlying makes cash payments during the life of option, early exercise can be worthwhile. European option can only be exercised at any at the time of their lives types of option on the basis of versatility number 1 vanilla option a normal option with no special or unusual features agnostic option a type of option that differs from common american or european options in terms of underlying assets or the calculation of how or when the investor receives a certain payoff types of agnostic option number 1 bermuda option a type of option that can only be exercised on predetermined dates usually every month compound option an option for which the underlying is another option therefore there are two strike prices and two exercise dates these are the four types of compound options call on a call put on a put call on a put and put on a call asian option an option whose payoff depend on the average price of the underlying assets over a certain period of time as opposed to at maturity also known as an average option digital option an option whose payoff payout is fixed after the underlying stock exceeds the predetermined their holds or strike price also referred to as binary or all or nothing options short option and agnostic option that allow the holders to lock in a defined profit profit while maintaining the right to continue participating in gains without a loss of locked in monies barrier options a type of option whose payoff depend on whether or not the underlying assets has reached or exceed a predetermined price chooser option an option where the investor has the opportunity to choose whether the op option is a put or call at a certain point in time during the life of the options quantity adjusting option quanto option a cash settled cro cross currency derivative in which the underlying assets is denominated in a currency other than the currency in which the option is settled quantos are settled at a fixed rate of exchange providing investors with shelter from exchange rate risk trading strategies involving options number 1 bull spread buy a call option with the strike x1 and sell a call option with the strike x2 whereas x2 greater than x1 date of maturity for both the options is same <coughs> and the payoff if st less than equal to x1 then gain zero if x1 less than st less than equal to x2 this is st minus x1 if st greater than x2 then st minus x1 minus st minus x2 which is equal to x2 minus s1 and now bull option under bull option the payoff is as under underlying values strike and net premium for both options and now bear spread 
buy a put option at a strike price x2 and sell a put option at a lower strike price of x1 both options have same expiry if s1 st greater than equal to x2 then gain is zero if x1 less than equal to st st less than x2 x2 minus st if st less than x1 and x2 minus st minus x1 minus st and the bear spread equal to strike price underlier values then net premium for both options butterfly spread buy a call option at a strike price x1 and buy another call option at a higher strike price of x2 sell two call option at a strike price x3 exactly halfway between x1 and x2 pay off if st less than equal to x1 zero if x1 less than st less than equal to x3 st minus x1 if x3 <coughs> less than s2 less than equal to x2 then st minus x1 minus twice of st minus x3 which is equal to x2 minus st if st greater than x2 then gain is zero and butterfly spread like as the payoff as state at first stage and then up upgraded at time at the time of exercise price then downward and then go to the same as per the call straddle buy a call option and a put option both at a strike price x so pay off equal to if st greater than x then st minus x if st less than x then x minus st if st equal to x then zero then straddle like as combined premium for both options the pay off is strike greater than strike and strength strangle buy a put option with the stack price k1 equal to and buy a call option at a stack price k2 greater than k1 pay off if st greater than k2 if st less than k1 if k1 less than equal to st less than equal to k2 zero then s2 minus k2 then k1 minus st strangles underlies values combined premium for both options then forward rate agreement fra an over the counter contract between parties that determines the rate of interest to be paid or received on an obligation beginning at a future start date on this type of agreement it is only the differential that is paid on the notional amount of the contract also known as a future rate agreement example client has a 6 month borrowing requirement in 3 months and want to hedge its floating interest rate exposure client can enter into a 3 and 2 9 fra agreement with bank whereby bank will pay 6 ki bor rate to the customer customer will pay fixed rate to bank since the exchange will take place at the start of the borrowing period only the net discounted amount will be exchanged fra rate calculation current ki bor rate 3 months 9.30% which is equal to i3 9 month 9.80% which is equal to i9 fra 3 into 9 rate which is equal to 1 plus i9 multiply 9 divided by 12 divided by 1 plus i3 into 3 divided by 12 whole multiply 12 by 6 which is equal to 9.82% percent. forward rate agreement a client need to borrow 
रुपीज हंड्रेड मिलियंस फॉर सिक्स मंथ इन सिक्स मंथ टाइम द क्लाइंट बोरो रेट इज के आई बी ओ आर प्लस वन सपोज टू डे सिक्स मंथ के आई बी ओ आर इज कोटेड एट द रेट टेन परसेंट आफ्टर मंथ डू नथिंग बाई सिक्स इंटू ट्वेल्व एफ आर ए टेन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो परसेंट के आई बी ओ आर रेज इज टू एलेवन परसेंट देन डू नथिंग बोरो एट द रेट ट्वेल्व परसेंट बोरो एट ट्वेल्व परसेंट गेट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट फ्रॉम सेलर एंड योर कॉस्ट एलेवन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट काइबर फॉल टू नाइन परसेंट डू नथिंग बोरो एट द रेट टेन परसेंट बोरो एट नाइन परसेंट पे वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट टू सेलर योर कॉस्ट एलेवन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट एंड आ स्वैप अ स्वैप इज ए डेरिवेटिव इन विच टू काउंटर पार्टीज एग्री टू एक्सचेंज वन स्ट्रीम ऑफ कैश फ्लोज अगेंस्ट एन अदर स्ट्रीम दीज स्ट्रीम आर कॉल्ड द लैग्स ऑफ द स्वैप देर आर टू बेसिक टाइप्स ऑफ स्वैप नंबर वन इंटरेस्ट रेट स्वैप नंबर टू करेंसी स्वैप इंटरेस्ट रेट स्वैप एन एग्रीमेंट बिटवीन टू पार्टीज वे आर वन स्ट्रीम ऑफ फ्यूचर इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट इज एक्सचेंज फॉर एन अदर बेस्ड ऑन ए स्पेसिफाइड प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट इंटरेस्ट रेट स्वैप ऑफ वन एक्सचेंज ए फिक्स पेमेंट फॉर ए फ्लोटिंग पेमेंट दैट इज लिंक टू एन इंटरेस्ट रेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल काउंटर पार्टी ए एंड बी मेचोरिटी फाइव ईयर्स ए पेज टू बी सिक्स परसेंट फिक्स पर एन एम बी पेज टू ए सिक्स मंथ काइबोर पेमेंट टर्म सेमी एनुअल नोशनल प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट पी के आर टेन मिलियंस सो पार्टी ए एट द रेट ऑफ सिक्स परसेंट फिक्स टू पार्टी बी एंड पार्टी बी सिक्स मंथ के आई बी ओ आर कैश फ्लो इन द एब स्वैप आर रिप्रेजेंटेड एज फॉलोज पेमेंट एट द एंड ऑफ हाफ ईयर पीरियड लाइक वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन एंड टेन फिक्स रेट पेमेंट थर्टी थाउजेंड इन ईच ईयर सो फ्लोटिंग रेट पेमेंट सिक्स मंथ के के आई बी ओ आर थ्री लैख थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर थ्री लैख थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सेकेंड ईयर थ्री लैख थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड थर्ड ईयर देन फोर्थ ईयर then fifth year then sixth year then seventh year it will change 3 lakh 12500 then 3 lakh 12500 then 3 lakh 12500 then 3 lakh 12500 then 3 lakh 12500 so net cash from a to b minus 37500 for first year minus 37500 second year minus 37500 third year minus 25000 fourth year minus 25000 fifth year minus 25000 sixth year then 12500 for 7th year 12500 for 8th year and 12500 for 9th year and 25000 for 10th year and the total payment will be 2 lakh 50000 interest rate swap typical characteristics of the interest rate swap the principal amount is only notional opposing payment through the swap are normally net netted the frequency of payment reflects the tenor of the floating rate index now currency swap a swap that involves the exchange of principal and interest in one currency for the same in another currency it is considered to be a foreign exchange transactions and is required by law to be shown on the balance sheet to further elaborate the modus operandi and underlying fundamental of swap transaction we shall discuss a simple ready against 6 month forward swap as the first leg of the transaction is in ready therefore it would be executed today at the today prevailing exchange rate for sake of simplicity we shall make the following assumption ready usd or pkr rate 60 pkr 6 month interest rate 11% USD six month interest rate six percent. In order to ensure that no opportunities of arbitrage arise, that th therefore interest rate differential being eleven minus six, which is equal to five percent, the theoretical depreciation in rupees would be 
60 multiply 5 percent multiply 1 by 2 as interest rate are quoted on annual basis the six month impact would be roughly 1 by 2 which is equal to 1.5 this will result in a six month forward rate of 60 plus 1.5 which is equal to 61.5 today usd 1 millions pkr 60 millions bank a and bank b pkr 60 millions pkr 61.5 millions and usd 1 millions six months from now cross currency swap cross currency swap offer companies opportunities to reduce borrowing cost in both domestic and foreign market a currency swap involves the exchange of payment denominated in one currency for payments denominated in another currency payments are based on a national principal amount the value of which is fixed in the exchange rate terms at the swaps inceptions consider a pakistani exporter having export proceeds in usd he or she has a pkr kibur loan liability on its balance sheet and he she want to convert this pkr liability to a usd libor liabilities to exploit the law interest rate as compared to that of pkr in doing so he she is taking on exchange risk but with his exporter proceeds in foreign exchange he she has a mutual hedge mechanism of cross currency swap pkr loan liability kaivers exporter bank libors and kaivers they are interrelated to each other initial liability before swap is kaivor after swap net liability is libor and now do it yourself question number 1 what is currency swap how it is useful question number 2 what what is option explain different kind of option and that's it from session number 8 thank you